Hi, <clears throat> this lecture is about uh, Caldwell Esselstyn, MD, nutrition hero number 11. Um, the first time I saw him, I noticed he's very tall with long arms and he's really thick glasses and he's kind of walks with his flexing his elbows. I thought he looked like a giant grasshopper. Um, I was very impressed by his work. You know, I was doing interventional radiology and vascular emphasis, angioplasties and stents. And so, you know, in the business of vascular disease, he had the best results of any doctor in the world. Um, he's known as Dr. No, you know, NO for nitric oxide, NO for no meat, not one bite, no oil, not one drop, no sweets, no caffeine, kind of like a uh, Old Testament Ten Commandments, Spartan veganism. So it sounds a little harsh at first, but it works. Um, you know, I was curious about it and wanted to learn more from him. I went out to Cleveland to go learn from him. Um, during his lecture to the patients, I was in the audience there, um, he kept on going over and over about nitric oxide and different aspects of it. And I asked some questions about other aspects of atherosclerosis, but I could tell from the way he looked at me, he was like, we'll talk about that later. After the lecture, we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and he said, the reason I focus so much on nitric oxide is the patients need to understand that. They need to really get that in order to be successful. And, you know, heart disease is the number one cause of death, most common cause of death, and Dr. Russell's didn't conquer heart disease. I mean, his patients had 99.4% no recurrent coronary events. That's incredible results. That's 30 times better than the Lyon study version of the Mediterranean diet. He deserves a Nobel, a Nobel Prize for his work. But he'll never get it in the current textbooks of physiology, cardiovascular pathophysiology, pathology. He's not even mentioned. As a matter of fact, none of the nutrition doctors are. But his work has held up. Other doctors that have tried this with their patients or themselves have seen the same results. Um, and the epidemiology suggests that it would work. He was Olympic champion rower, an endocrine and cancer surgeon before becoming a nutrition doctor. And now at 88 years of age, he's still slim and trim a great role model of another healthy vegan doctor. Um, and he's traveling around giving lectures. He's bright and articulate. He's very polite. He knows he's right. He knows he'll go down history as a great, great man. So he doesn't take it too seriously when people, you know, try to pick at the details of his work. You know, it stands out there like uh, something on Mount Rushmore. So anyways, uh, a great nutrition hero, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn.